Okay, so a kid with an STI, you need to consider child abuse. If you have a concern for HIV, you need to do a prophylactic triple therapy. Elderly memory problems may be depression. Elderly depression risk Elderly depression is a risk factor for dementia. Like positive likelihood ratio is equal to sensitivity divided by open parentheses one minus specificity close parentheses. And the negative likelihood ratio is equal to open parentheses one minus sensitivity close parentheses divided by the specificity. If you see increased in PMNs in the CSF, Consider bacterial meningitis. An odds ratio greater than one equals an increased odds. Odd ratio less than one equals decreased odds. And an odd ratio equal to one means there's no effect really. Um, beware of non-response bias. Microcytic hypochromic anemia is thalassemia trait differential. Cardiac tamponade has an early diastolic ventricular collapse. Note that positive predictive value is directly proportional to specificity or prevalence. Beware of that. An epithelial ovarian carcinoma needs to be surgically removed in the second trimester, preferably. An elderly person that falls, you need to obtain some more history. Positive predictive value equals true positives divided by true positives plus false positives. Uh, beware of making a contingency two by two table. Beware of HIPAA. Hypocalcemia increases deep tendon reflexes. If you see an ash leaf or chagrin patch, get an EEG. Uh, tuberous sclerosis is the main cause of death. Sorry, what is the main cause of death with tuberous sclerosis? Epilepsy. What is the strongest risk factor for pelvic inflammatory disease? Multiple sex partners. Beware of how the endotracheal tube is known to be in the correct place. How do you know? Capnography. Mm -hmm. You typically want to give the vaccines for the most part when faced with a question like that. What does a symptomatic pituitary adenoma need? Surgical intervention. ACS needs to be having... So acute coronary syndrome, what should you get, like pronto, troponins, and an echocardiogram, right? Um, if you see a patient with a compromised trachea, what should be done? Intubation, basically, right? Um, what do most men with prostate cancer die from? Other causes, right? If you suspect multiple myeloma in a patient, what should you get? An S PEP and a bone marrow biopsy, right? Um, how can you, like, what radiologic test is used to um, help with the staging and diagnosis and prognosis of multiple myeloma? An X ray skeletal survey, right? Um, what syndrome is associated with multiple myeloma? Hyperviscosity syndrome, right? What sort of anemia does methotrexate cause? Macrocytic anemia. If someone is on methotrexate, um, what supplement should they get? Folinic acid, right? What's the rule of tens regarding the cleft lip? There's three of them. 10 pounds, 10 weeks, and 10 grams of hemoglobin. Um, 
If there's a kid in an old house and their parent works at a factory uh, and they have a lot of hand mouth behavior and you see a CBC, what will they most likely have? Lead toxicity, right? Um, under a situation where a vaccine wants to be administered, do you want to administer it? Typically, yes, and monitor closely if they had some sort of minor allergy in the past, for the most part. If a kid comes into your clinic and they have some sort of Lyme-like symptoms, what do you want to do? A meticulous skin exam to see the tick and get it off so this kid doesn't get much more Lyme in their body for the most part. And if you do see the tick, what do you do? Manually remove it. Um, if an old patient um, who has a history of DVTs or whatnot comes into your clinic and their INR is off the charts, it's too high, what you gonna do for them? You gonna decrease that warfarin, that's what. Get that INR in proper range. Um, can a pregnant woman get an STI? A uh, yeah. Beware of the chlamydia and uh, Neisseria gonococcus in a pregnant woman because if it's left untreated, what could it cause? P-prom, man. We do not want that. We do not want no pre-prom. Um, let's say somebody comes into your office and they have a little plantar wart. They say, Doc, how do I get this plantar wart off of my foot? Treat that with a little salicylic acid, right? Yeah, a little essay. And uh, you know they're going to be calling you and asking you, Doc, uh, I got the salicylic acid. And I'm using it. It's not working. What are you going to tell them? Two to three weeks, bro. Then you'll see some improvement. All right? That's one. 